Hi guys, welcome back to Little Techie. Today I'll be showing you um, how to install um, Windows 11 on an unsupported um, hardware um, system like this, com this laptop here. So first what we want to do is um, first you're going to close the command prompt. You're going to do Windows R. You're going to type um, regedit or regedit.exe. It doesn't really matter. Then it's gonna click yes. Then you're gonna um, sh then you're gonna go to um this key at the top. You see, you're gonna go to HK local machine system setup mo setup. If it's not there, create it. That's what I did on my other server. So um, let's see how to do it. Then you're gonna click mo setup. And you're gonna create a key called allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Change the value um, the data to one. You're gonna double click it. Yeah, change it to one. Make sure it's on hexadecimal, not decimal. Okay. So once you change that registry editor, close it or minimize it. Um, to make it better, you can go to CMD now. CMD. You're gonna go. You're gonna do Windows R CMD. Gonna run it and um, backspace all of that. And we're gonna type when type disk part disk part. It depends, I think it stands for disk partitions, but we're gonna click enter. We're gonna open this new window. We're gonna click yes and disk part and disk part um. You gotta type list of um this part actually um isn't really um used in this thing. It's not really um important. You can type list for so yeah that's good. Now you can close exit or close it. Exit's better. Next um you're gonna type B I S M slash Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open a filter keys, but um, get dash w i n info slash no, I'm gonna space it then slash slash w i m file and then. Okay, now that, once you do that, you're gonna open File Explorer. Don't run it yet. Don't run it. So once you're here, I'm in File Explorer. You're gonna go to, um, you're gonna go to, um, the, um, your, your, um, the Windows 11 disk image. You need that to, um, make it work. Or it won't work. So it's here. It's power ISO. I, um, I don't like power ISO. I'm still gonna run it. Okay, we're gonna use Windows Explorer. Always use this app. Okay, so good. It's gonna open the ISO. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna have to mount it because it's not working. Yeah, oh, it opened. Yeah, good. So now you're gonna go to, um, yeah, so, um, whatever the drive it is. This is a D drive, so, well, and, and CMD you're gonna type. If it's H, you're gonna type H, whatever. So, um, if it's, um, if it's, if it's F, you're gonna type F, but it's, ours is a D drive, so T, colon, slash, store, says now um if you create the ISO using um the media creation tool you're gonna type install.esd if it's um if, it, if you got it from inside insider or you got it from some website you're gonna type install.wim now now you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna um Enter it. Once you enter it, um, you 
Yeah, so um, right, you need um to um, you need to get to an administrator CMD. Um, if you wasted all the time, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But um, you need to um, um, run administrator to do this. So um, after that, you're gonna type um, D I S M slash apply dash image slash no slash image fine image file e slash solar says slash install dot win or ESD. Install W I M slash index index is colon one in slash apply dir apply directory equal to um, C, you're going to type C. So I'm um, going to type C there. C there. Colon. Good. Now, once you do that, you're going to run the thing that evaluated permission without evaluated permissions. Um, I don't know how to say it. But once you do that, um, uh, once you do that, you're gonna type dir dirc. Once you do dirc, you're going to restart your computer. You're gonna have to shut down your computer, and then you're gonna turn it on back. Once you turn it on, um, basically you're going to um, basically once you turn it on, um, you're gonna um, uh, you're gonna see um, it's gonna boot. Uh, if it's a server, it's going to show all the boot details. Um, if it's a laptop, it's going to directly boot to Windows 11. So, um, yeah. Um, after, after this, we'll be showing you a preview, okay? Let me just need to wait for a few secs. Once you install it, um, once you install it, um, window, um, w when you install it and apply all the settings, um, You'll have Windows 11. <coughs> um, it looks like this. Um, it looks like this. Um, it has like um, the differences as there is um, like the recycle bin. It looks different. The taskbar it looks more like a Chromebook. But instead um, instead of in the start menu um, there, it's in the middle. So um. Um, the taskbar is white um d by default and windows 10 by default the taskbar is um and the lock screen looks different it looks more like um what you see on an ipad an ipad so um yeah that's it for today guys i'll see you next time bye